Maxina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one comes from two sources. One order was from online, and one was from the Mayfair Mall in Wabatosa from my store. Um, and that one, the second one was with the sale where if you ordered one item, you got a certain percentage off. Two items, you got more percentage, and three or more items, you got 30%. So I did that plus the military discount. And that was great. So the first item I got is a fleece throw or a plush throw blanket. This one is in Mayfair Bloom. Um, I'm not going to open this one because it is actually vacuum packed. I mean, yeah, so that's the first time I've ever gotten one in that particular packaging. But because it's going right into storage in the stack of many blankets <laughs> and to wait its turn, I'm going to leave it wrapped up for now. But we will get to see the pattern because I have another item in the pattern. And you can also see through here, it's sort of a, um, I'm not sure if it's black or navy. Honestly, I think it's a navy background. But it has these beautiful purple and blue and white florals. So anyway, the second item I got is in fact... Wait, what is this called? It's a belt bag, a fanny pack, a bum pouch, um, whatever you might call it, wherever you are. I think Vera calls it a belt bag, but here's the tag. It took me a minute to find the tag. Yep, RFID belt bag, Mayfair Bloom. So Mayfair Bloom pattern is, like I said, it's these beautiful florals, and I got exceptional pattern placement, I think. Now, I like all the colors in it and I'm partial to the purples, but look at that perfectly centered flower and I still got like the purples and stuff in there. And then on the, the top, I got some more of the purples, which I like. And then on the front, I got a beautiful off-center flower. So I'm really, really, really happy with all in all the placement on this. This is a performance twill item and so it has this pretty metallic looking zipper. I think it's nylon anyways. But this is a pretty simple pouch. It has a woven strap and it is adjustable. It has a clip to clip it on and off, of course. You could carry it as like a sling, a small sling, even though that's not its intended function. Inside it has, well, several things. It has the three card slots right here on the back, one, two, three. And then there's actually a privacy zipper pocket as well. And that's where the tag was tucked in, in case you're wondering why I couldn't find it. Um, but it's, you know, it's a standard shape. So it's pretty tapered down on the bottom and then a little larger on the top. It's plenty big for what I bought it for, which was just to walk the dog or roller skating and just be able to take my phone, a few dollars, a card, some keys, just some basics, mid-essential kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Performance Twill Belt Bag. And it is cool that it's RFID because then that's one less thing to worry about. Okay, this next item is a newer style and new to me and it's a newer pattern. This is the Spa Accessory Set in Lavender Butterflies. I do not need any more pouches, not even a clear one, but this is a size and configuration that I don't have up till now, so it's not a bad thing. But I actually bought this for these pieces because it's hot here in Arizona and as it starts to cool off now getting into the winter well fall and then winter but falls a very short time here um, the, the weather will cool down a bit and I will start skating outside again but I sweat I sweat a lot so I got this I don't know you know I'm obviously not a spa um, aficionado or anything so I'm not sure why you need these in a spa unless you're talking about going in like a steam room but because I sweat a lot, um, these elastic, like terry cloth type materials so that I can just wipe my sweat. And I could put two on one arm or one on each arm or whatever. I'm not sure I will use the headband for that. Honestly, I could, I suppose. <laughs> Looks kind of silly. Um, but this is great for putting your hair back to wash your face. You just put it through and then you know, put your hair back or you can even push back the bangs as well. And I don't care that it looks funny because I'm trying to wash my face. So that is the spa accessories pack. And then this has 
you know, pretty wide bottom. It comes up to the top. It's a nice clear pouch you can use for travel organization, all sorts of things. But I really bought it for those um, sweatbands. Yeah. And then the last item in that online order is the cinch laundry bag in forest canopy coral which looks like rainforest pink but whatever this one has the monkeys all over it they're so cute so i don't like that they're exactly the same color as everything else because they're very much hidden within the pattern because of that um but they are kind of all over and the cinch laundry bag is the large um, laundry bag this one is i suppose reactive is what should be And this one, Rainforest Canopy Coral. Yeah. It doesn't say if it's lighten up, but I think it's reactive because there's a reactive tag. Reactive would totally make sense. We're way past lighten up now. Um, but it is a retail side laundry bag that so has the rope style handle. It has the cinch clip um, clasp, whatever you want to call it. You can split them and use it as a backpack type thing or put them together over one shoulder. It is just a nice big bucket shaped bag. I use these a lot because I use them to pack and unpack the RV. Um, so that's very, very helpful. You just put all your clothes in one, all your shoes in one, a bunch of bags in one, and off you go. It also has these two handles inside. Um, so it has a recessed, like where the cinches is recessed, and you have these two. So you can carry it. Like, pick it up and move it around that way as well. It's a little tougher to carry like that, but you can. And then they also come with, there's a lanyard inside. It's not a lanyard, like, put over your neck lanyard, but a leash of sorts. And it has a clip, and it has, they all have a mesh bag inside that is detachable. So you can put your unmentionables in here. You can put your masks in there to wash them. Any number of things, but it just has a zip across the top, and you put your stuff in. And that way you don't lose all your little things and whatnot. So that just clips right back on, goes right back in. And it is a pretty robust material. It also is like a, sort of a rubber lined, not rubber, maybe PUL, PVC. I don't know what you call that, but it's it's waterproof. I mean, it's, nothing's getting in or out of there. So they are great also for separating out dirty clothes. They're a little big for a travel laundry, like if you're going on a, a flight, but... They're a great size for use at home, use in a trailer or camping, any kind of thing like that. Uh, so this is how I fold it. I fold the bottom up like that and then fold that in half and then fold it in half this way. And it folds down to a really nice size that stacks flat and I just have a bunch of them on the shelf. And I grab whichever color. And I do take multiple, like I said, on these trailer trips in the RV. So having different colors for different types of things works really well if you're, like if you do what I did on this last trip, I just basically put them all in. I didn't unpack them into the RV. I just put them in and then unpacked them later. But anyways, all right. So the rest of this is all brand new stuff because the hanging around pattern came out and also the Javo camo, Javo Navy camo. So Let's jump right into these adorable little sloths. I am really loving the colors, first of all. This is what I, okay, the sloths are cute, but I'm not normally a sloth person, oh, and they're cute, but um, but the purples and teals, I'm really loving the colors on the, the items. The socks is a very vibrant color. It's got the purple, and then it's got these bright pink flowers and these cute little sloths on the tree, a couple different positions. And these are the normal crew socks, very comfortable. They're thin and nice. So I got those. These, by the way, have sold out a couple times online already. So if you're interested in them, I don't recommend waiting. <laughs> I would, uh, you know, it's got FOMO. Don't, don't wait, you'll miss them. Then I've got the um, Reader's Clamshell Case. And I don't wear Reader's, not yet, but it turns out that the Reader's Cases fit my regular size sunglasses as well. So I can use them as both, and I don't have to have the bigger, bulkier sunglass case. Now, I do have several of those, and I do use those at times, because not all sunglasses fit in the more compact case. But when they do, I find that very helpful in your bags, that it's just a little less bulky. But look at the colors on the main pattern. It's just super cute. And you got, like, this guy's hanging upside down, this one's upright. 
Um, but the trees with the different, it's just pretty. I like the colors. So I'm really, really happy with it. I'm waiting for a couple more items to be released because some things were delayed for whatever reason. And so I want the pajama pants. I want the small backpack. And well, those are the two main, and the throw. Those are the three things. All right, well, before I go on to this, let's look at the rest of the sloths. So I had to get the adorable sloth cosmetic. It is, um, it's a faux leather or vegan leather of sorts. Yeah, just called sloth, faux leather it says. But anyway, I got this to use as a cute little purse. You know, yes, I can use it as an organizational piece, but I mean, it's just so cute. And it has a little handle on top. I wish it had on the sides, like two little loops that I could just attach a little crossbody strap. I might see about making a modification myself, maybe. We'll see. But it is cute, has this flower. And then it is a double zipper, which is quite nice for using it like the purpose that I want to. And it has stuffing in it. But inside, it has plastic lining all throughout, clear plastic with this adorable pretty print on the inside. This is the same interior on the other sloth stuff. And it has this one mesh elastic pocket. So if I'm using it as a purse, I'll use little pouches and little things inside. And I could zip it part way down if I want and still get access to things. But I think it'll hold quite a little bit and it'll be perfect for what I want to use it for. You can, of course, also use it as a cosmetic and it will store quite a little bit. It unzips all the way back to there. It doesn't quite lay flat, but it does open fully so you can get up in there and access everything. So I think I'm gonna store it with the stuffing in it. All right. Put the tag in there too, why not? Okay, so the Sloth Cosmetic, it's super cute. I also ordered the Medium Cosmetic, which is just in the regular hanging around sloth pattern, but that they didn't have in store, so they had to order it for me. So that will be coming I didn't want to wait for it, but it's it's coming in the mail from a different place. So it'll get here when it gets here. Wait, let me not do that yet. All right, sloths. So I got the mini notebook with pocket. And this you get a really good look at the pattern. I know it has the plastic glare on there, sorry. But, but all the different positions and all the purples and pinks and the, the teals. And I really like that background color, honestly. But yeah, so. Great little size. This has 160 college ruled pages with an interior pocket like up on the front. So very nice. I have bunches of them. I do use a lot of the stationery all the time. And then the last sloth item I got is the clipboard folio. I did not need another clipboard folio. In fact, I had cut myself off, but then this colors and the pattern, it was just so happy and playful. I decided, well, I'll use the paper and the clipboard folios. In fact, I, I'm using them much more often. I've kind of got one going all the time now. So um, constantly giving myself to-do lists and whatnot. And it's great because I can just stick loose papers in, close it up, and that's kind of my to-do book. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I haven't looked at one of these in a while. So let's open it up just to share with you all. Interior pocket includes notepad, silver accents. That's what it says. Okay, but it has this clipboard thing on top. It is the low profile clip one. They work really well. It has an elastic pen holder on the side. When you open it up, it does have this pocket, but it is cardboard, so it's not super robust. It's not gonna stretch or flex. You have to be careful not to rip it. It's not super fragile, but it, it won't, it's not super robust, let's just say. It will hold what it'll hold, and that's about it. And then you have this notepad. It doesn't have holes in it, but it does come out. So if you want the pad by itself, you can do it. You can take it out if you have a good hole punch. You can punch the holes ahead of time how you want them, or you can punch them as you take them off. It is perforated on the top, so you can pull the sheets off. And you can put a new pad in here. So maybe you don't like this particular notepad, maybe you have a favorite, or you use all the paper on this one, you can just put another one in. You just slide that back cardboard piece right in there. And voila, you have 
a new clipboard folio. Because this is cardboard, but they're fairly robust. I haven't had any issues with them, thankfully. I hate that they put this sticker on the actual item because why, why not put it on the plastic and leave it at that like they're doing some of the other ones because they don't always come off cleanly, which is, yeah, there it goes, not coming off cleanly. I find that frustrating. I'm gonna sit here and take it off now that I started it because hi yi yi I think I might have it now. Nope. Yeah, this is why. This this is why I this is why. Like who wants that on their pretty patterned pieces? So then you gotta sit here and pick it all off, which I'm gonna have to do offline because it's gonna take a little while, but it's such a pain. Okay. That was a big chunk of it, but I still got two more bits. Anyways, I'll get that after. That's why I don't like them. And there's one on the front too. Okay, that can go aside. Then switching gears, I've got the ballpoint pen in the same pattern. And it's not open, but let's see if we can open this up. No, it's all taped up. But anyway, it's the same pattern. And I do love the ballpoint pens. I haven't ordered any in a while, but I got that one and I also got the Java Navy Camo one. So just nice neutral colors. Um, it's very feminine, but still neutral colors. And then I got the teals and whatnot. So I got those two. And then I got the set of six file folders. And I, I um, this is the Java Navy Camo. And then on the back, that's the interior pattern of it. Um, so I think it's three and three. And the, the so there's one tab in each pattern. Do you see that? Um, but yeah, so a set of six, and I think these are cardboard, not plastic, but I have a whole bunch of different patterns in these, and I have files like you wouldn't believe. Um, so I got these for that. Now, <laughs> I will go back to school eventually. I don't know when or what, but that's beyond today's discussion. So these will come in very, very handy for that as well. Then I got the Journal with pen, I have a whole bunch of these. These are great purse size or, you know, little backpack size or whatnot. You can make them, you know, make them into your own calendar if you want to hand write in there your, you know, draw out a calendar or you can use it as a journal or just a little notepad in your purse. You always need paper for something. Um, yeah, so there you go. And it has a little pen that fits right in the spine of it and a little elastics if you want to put extra notes in there and then close it up. So I got that, and then I got two decks of cards, playing cards. Vera has done playing cards in the past, but a long time ago, it's not, it's been a long time, and they all come out with different styles. Um, these ones just have this cute little box. I think this is Hope Blooms or Hope Blossoms or something like that, this is a new pattern. Um, I opened this one to actually open it, open it to see how it works. So it's a cute little box that you could use for other things. And then the cards, it's a deck of cards. Now, the thing I like about them is they do have a little slicky to them. I mean, they feel like decent cards, but they almost kind of, like if you have new bicycle deck or something, they kind of slide. These ones are kind of stickier, not in a bad way, but they kind of stickier to each other. So maybe with some use, they'll be a little slickier instead of stickier, you know what I mean? So like when you're dealing, they'll kind of stick. But that's what the jokers look like. There's obviously two jokers. They are the same picture, but one has the pink writing, one has the black writing. So you could call one of those Biggie or Smalley. But then look at each of them. The face cards all look like this. Um, yeah. So interestingly as well, the hearts are black. The clubs are pink. The diamonds are pink. And the spades are black. So I don't know why they did the hearts in black instead of pink. That's sort of backwards to me. So there's a couple things that I would change on these cards. But they do have rounded edges. Anyways, they're a nice deck of cards. So they'll be fun to play with. Maybe not an everyday play kind of thing. But you get your beer friends who would appreciate it. Or they would make a great gift. Don't mind me. I'm sweating like crazy. 
It's very humid here right now because we had a lot of rain. But anyway, the other one I got is the Java Navy Camo. And Java Navy Camo, I did not open them, but I assume they're going to have the same variation stuff inside. I have some other things in my bucket, but that is it for this Vera haul. And I do, like I said, I have one more medium cosmetic coming. So when that comes, I'll tag it on to something else that I'm showing on that day. Maybe a what's in my bag or maybe a haul from Lug. I don't know. We'll see when it comes. Um, but hopefully it comes before the other stuff that I'm waiting to order. But today is... Wednesday, September 1st, and the Labor Day sale just started. So if you're looking for things, now's a good time to get them as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Bye for now.